a concrete slab measuring 0.5 meter by 1 meter by 2 meters has a mass of 2600 kilograms what is the maximum pressure it can exert on the ground now to find the maximum pressure but before we try to find the maximum pressure let's sketch what this concrete slab might look like So this is a sketch of what the concrete slab might look like. So let's uh, fill in some 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 uh, dimensions on this slab. So this side is the shortest side, so we can say this is our 0 0.5 meter side. So this side has a length of 0 0.5 meters. This side we can say have a length of 1 meters. And this side here, we can say as a length of two meters and we're trying to find out the maximum pressure which this slab can exert on the ground now to find pressure we know that the pressure is defined as the force per unit area or we can just write it as pressure is equal to force over area so we can find the force from the question since we are given the mass and we know that force F force is equal to the mass multiplied by mass times gravity and this is coming from the concept that the weight of an object is a force and how do you find weight typically to find the weight of an object we simply multiply the mass of the object by the acceleration due to gravity or the gravitational field strength which for us on earth is 10 newtons per kilogram so we can find the force then as since the mass is 2600 kilograms 600 kilograms multiplied by the gravitational field strength which is 10 newtons per kilogram and that works out to be 26,000 newtons so we have our force here now we need to find out what area will allow us to get the highest or the maximum pressure now since the area is in the denominator we need to find the smallest area of this object to cover the surface of the ground so that we have the lowest or the max the highest pressure being exerted on the ground so notice that we have three uh length lengths and area is equal to the length times width of an object in the case of a rect rectangle or the length times the length of the square in the case of a, a square so how would you get the smallest area the smallest area will be determined by the smallest length and the smallest width being multiplied together so if we place the thing on this side here let me just leave it on this side here which has a length of one meters and a width of 0.5 meters we will get the smallest area so let's fill that in and see so the force again is 26,000 newtons and the area is this one meters times a half a meter so one meter multiplied by 0 0.5 meters and that works out to be 2600 26,000 divided by 0 0.5 meters squared and that works out to be 52,000 newton per meter squared which is the same thing as 5200 pascals you can find more great physics tutorials like these over on my website at realgenerobertz.com